Hey guys, welcome to our seed ordering video. This is going to be one of four. The first one we're starting off with is our seed order from Johnny Seeds. And not only are we going to show you pictures and the name of the varieties, but we're also going to add in a few little facts about each variety and you'll find out some of the new things we're trying this year. We also want to let you guys know that all the photos in the videos today and the next videos are going to be from the seed company's websites. And we are not paid to make these videos. This is just us trying to show you what we ordered and what we're going to be starting in our gardens this year because we're super excited. And I think I went a little overboard with ordering, but I'm sure all of you guys are just as guilty. So me and my big flannel, we're going to go ahead on inside and we're going to go ahead and get this video edited because it's going to take a while. But I think you guys are going to like it because you're going to learn a lot about a lot of new varieties and you're going to, allow, eh, you're going to learn a lot about other things that we're growing in our garden and things that we love that we ordered again. So enjoy this first episode of the four episode series of our seed order. Thank you so much. Have fun watching. Raspberry Ann are ever bearing or fall bearing. This variety is known for its sweet flavor and grown best in zones four through seven. The greenhouse lettuce mix is new with improved downy mildew resistance. It includes the green oak leaf, red oak leaf, red romaine, green leaf, and red leaf lettuces. This variety is flavorful when harvested small. It is tender, crisp, sweet, bitter free, and seedless thin skinned pukes. This is a new variety, high yields, and delicious five to six inch pods. Romance is a new variety for us. It's supposed to have impressive flavor and it's summer harvested and it's also great for bunching since it has healthy strong tops. This variety's nickname is Pencil Carrots. They are supposed to be super sweet. This is our first year growing them and they hold their sweetness even through the warm weather and they are also an earlier harvested carrot. This variety is an Asian type cucumber and we grew it last year and it was great tasting. It's sweet, crispy, and bitter free. This cucumber is disease resistant and stress tolerant. It gets three to five inches and it's perfect for pickling. I've grown this pumpkin since a child. Turk's Turban is one of my favorite. It shows off with its beautiful color and its unique shape. This variety of kale is a standard green curly kale. It can grow up to two to three feet. This variety has dense heads, a buttery flavor, and high resistance to downy mildew. This melon is disease resistant. It has three to five pound fruits and it's very sweet and full of flavor. The Maxigoat peas are our absolute favorite. We are going on year three with them. They are a shelling pea. They have large peas on the inside and they are absolutely delicious. This potato is said to have great gourmet flavor and we cannot wait to try it for mashed potatoes. This is by far one of our favorite pumpkins. It is absolutely gorgeous and it's sometimes referred to as the fairy tale pumpkin and anytime anyone sees one of these in our house they always think it's fake. I've been eating this variety for years and it has an excellent flavor and it can get about 15 to 25 pounds, that's huge, but it is super delicious with its beautiful pink flesh and vigorous vines. Now this is one of our favorite herbs. It has a beautiful compact dome shape and it has a really good basil flavor with a touch of spiciness to kick up any meal. Now this is our favorite herb for its smell. It smells so citrusy but it also has a very great citrus flavor when you add it into some salads. The smell of dill reminds me of my childhood working in the fields and I love the smell so much. That's why we love this variety. It's perfect for putting into your bouquets to add that smell into your home, but it still has that perfect flavor to use for pickling. If you know us at all, you know that we love ornamental kales, and this is one of our absolute favorites. It packs the brightest punch of color in the garden for all of the seasons, and what's even better is that it's a great cut flower. We always love growing nasturtiums. This variety is a great trailer. We find a lot of bees on our nasturtiums. That's why we love having them. They're an edible, so you can add them into 
your salads they have a bit of a peppery flavor but some people don't like to grow them because they can reseed if you don't have a hard winter for them these snapdragons here are great for cut flowers they get about 48 to 54 inches tall that's pretty tall but they are a great focal point in any garden from spring through fall and here is another color of that same variety this variety is going to be new for us this year this is another cut flower variety of snapdragons and this will be the first year that we also try this variety as well this is the cut flower variety of snapdragons that we grew last year and loved and this is what also inspired us to try other cut flower varieties this year this variety here is a perennial in zone 7 through 10, gets about 36 to 48 inches tall. It blooms July to the frost and it attracts bees and butterflies. What is also great about it is that it is heat tolerant, so we are super excited to try this this year and this will actually be an annual for us here in zone 4 in Wisconsin. We are sunflower lovers just like a lot of you. and. Autumn Beauty is one of our absolute favorites and we didn't seed it last year because I forgot to order the seed and they were truly missed. They get 60 to 96 inches tall and they have beautiful flowers branching off of them so they don't just produce one. That's what's so awesome about them. This variety here will make a really good pie pumpkin. It weighs in about 3 to 5 pounds and it has an intermediate resistance to powdery mildew which is perfect start when starting any pumpkin. What can I say? You can never have too many zucchinis. Or can you? Sometimes we have way too many. But why not try a new variety like this that's strong disease resistant? These guys are new for us this year and we ordered them as gourds but then we started reading that they're actually very sweet and tender and they make a great meal so I guess we'll have to try them. These squash are supposed to taste fantastic and I know Jason loves squash so I wanted to try something new for him this year. Every year I try to add something into the garden that somebody likes that's new and it says that it can store up to five months. Now these are my favorite squash. I love making squash fries and nothing's better than making squash fries with yellow squash. These are definitely one of my favorites. They remind me of growing up on my parents' pumpkin farm when I was super little. And they just bring back so many good memories that every year we have to grow these. Mm -hmm. 